हेलो एवरीवन आवर टुडेज टॉपिक इज फाइलोजेनेटिक्स व्हिच इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट इन बायो इन्फॉर्मेटिक्स एंड यूज इन डे टू डे रिसर्च सो वी आर गोइंग टू कंप्लीट दिस टॉपिक इन थ्री टू फोर लेक्चर्स सो लेट स्टार्ट सो फाइलोजेनेटिक्स सो द क्वेश्चन अराइज इज वॉट इज फाइलोजेनेटिक्स सो इट इज द स्टडी ऑफ इवोल्यूशनरी रिलेशनशिप अमंग ग्रुप ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स which are is discovered through molecular sequencing data and morphological data matrices so evolutionary branching process may be depicted as a phylogenetic tree so what is the purpose of phylogenetics why do we want to study this topic so from the studies it has been postulated that closely related organisms have similar sequences more distantly related organisms have more dissimilar sequences hence one objective of it is to reconstruct the evolutionary relationship between species another objective is to estimate the time of divergence between two organisms since they last shared a common ancestor so here we can see before the birth of molecular biology phylogeny was derived by looking for homologous anatomical structures or patterns of embryonic development but now it is based on protein and dna sequences as we can see here this figure shows the bones in the four limbs of three mammals human whale and bat although used for such different functions as throwing swimming and flying the same basic structural plan is evident in all them in each case the bone shown in color is the radius similarly body parts are considered homologous if they have same basic structure the same relationship to the other body parts and it turns out development in a similar manner in the embryo so here we can see uh, these embryos they have the same basic structural plan in their early days next is the concept of molecular phylogeny so molecular phylogeny is the study of evolution of biological sequences or family of sequences in biology the phylogeny data is usually in the form of protein or dna sequences and mostly genes um here we can say uh, phylogeny and sequence alignment are strongly linked because uh, two very similar sequences can be easily aligned similarly a group a group of similar sequences can easily be organized in a tree conversely distantly related sequences are difficult to align and phylogeny of very different sequences is also very difficult as several evolutionary paths are possible so point to be noted is that multiple multiple sequence alignment is the first step for phylogenetic analysis and each column of an of an multiple msa represents a site that has been evolving independent of all other sites so here in this figure we can see that uh, figure a is showing duplication of gene a that produces tandem gene a1 and a2 in the ancestor of species 1 and 2 so here in a1 and a2 um due to accumulation of some mutations two different species species 1 and species 2 are generated the same concept is shown by gene uh, by figure b also here we can see that Uh, due to gene du duplication at a point uh, there is a branching and two different species that is a species 1 and a species 2 are formed figure c is showing convergent evolution which is for analogous genes so a gene in a species 1 and a different gene in a species 2 have converged on the same function by separate evolutionary paths such analogous genes or genes that result from convergent evolution include proteins that have a similar active site but with a different backbone sequence uh, in figure d 
horizontal transfer is shown that is the concept of xenologous gene, genes genes in species 1 and 2 are related to the transfer of genetic material between species even though the two species are separated by a long evolutionary distance next is the concept of homology and homoplasy so homology means identical character due to shared ancestry that is an evolutionary signal so we can see in the figure below of homology rodents and primates both have hairs because their ancestors had hairs similarly in homoplasy uh, not similarly unlikely in the homopla in homoplasy identical characters due to evolutionary convergence or reversal uh, now homoplasy is of two types it can be it can show convergence or it can show reversal in case of convergence as we can see uh, uh, in the figure birds and bats both have converged to a common function that is the function of flight whereas snakes and rodents do not so birds and bats are showing homology whereas this character of flight is not present in their ancestors so they have since they have developed this character and they are coming from different paths so this is called as convergence homoplasy convergence next is homoplasy reversal reversal means reversal of something so snakes and lizards both uh, in in their ancestors legs were present but snakes uh, reverse this character and legs are not found there so reversal is shown this way so thank you for this lecture and in the coming lectures we will study the concept of evolutionary tree thank you